Welcome to the 2016 National Healthcare Safety Network, or NHSN, Quick Learn Series. These CDC presentations are an educational resource for healthcare facilities working to prevent healthcare associated infections, or HAIs. This presentation reviews exclusion criteria for procedures and surgical site infections, or SSIs. These exclusion criteria are applied during calculation of the Standardized Infection Ratio, or SIR. We will review the three models in the NHSN application and learn how to apply the exclusion criteria based on your existing knowledge of SIR. The three SSI models in the application are Complex AR, Complex 30-Day, and All SSI Data. More information on SSI SIR and how to generate the SIR can be found on the Patient Safety Analysis Resources page. The risk adjusted models for SSI are based on the 2006 through 2008 baseline data. The journal Infection Control and Hospital Epidemiology published a CDC paper titled Improving Risk Adjusted Measures of Surgical Site Infection for the National Healthcare Safety Network. The article can be found online at the link shown here. A complete list of exclusion criteria, including cutoffs for extremely long procedure duration, can be found in the 2010 NHSN newsletter. We will also review how to troubleshoot discrepancies in your SSI data. When evaluating procedures and related SSIs from SIR calculation, ensure that procedure and infection counts are accurate and procedures are not missing variables or have outlier values. If you notice a discrepancy in the procedure count, refer to the table at the bottom of the SSI-SIR output that shows the number of excluded procedures and any associated SSI. This table shows procedures excluded from the SIR using the exclusion criteria listed in the 2010 NHSN newsletter. These excluded procedures and associated SSIs can also be related to potential data quality issues. All of the SSI SIRs exclude superficial and deep incisional secondary SSIs. As of 2014, the SSI SIR will also exclude procedures with other than primary closure techniques. Each SSI model has its own set of specific exclusion criteria. So if your SSI event count is less than you are expecting, check the SSI model exclusions. For example, complex AR and complex 30-day models will not include superficial incisional primary or SIP infections. If a procedure is excluded from the SIR, then any associated SSI event will also be excluded. Each of the SSI models has a set of features that determine whether procedures and events will be included or excluded from the SIR calculation. Here's a comparison of SSI models. Use this table to determine what is included or excluded from your SIR reports. For complex AR and complex 30-day models, some procedures and events are excluded. Here is a list of universal exclusion criteria applied in SSI-SIR calculation. These criteria will apply regardless of the SSI model and are related to potential data quality issues. A quick reference guide on the procedure duration for each of the procedures is on the NHSN website. Now, let's review how to troubleshoot discrepancies in your SSI data. To investigate the list of excluded procedures and events, run a line list as shown here. Be sure to limit the line list to the procedure code or codes and time period of interest. Add important variables based on the procedure category. 
The most common reason for procedure exclusion is long procedure duration. This is often a data quality issue, which should be very rare. Data entered into the system should be evaluated frequently to reduce or eliminate the instances of extreme outlier of long procedure duration. In this example, the hysterectomy and colon surgery were excluded because the procedures show extreme duration outliers. The cutoff procedure duration for hist and colo are 380 and 668 minutes, respectively. However, in this example, the hist procedure was 1,200 minutes and the colo procedure lasted 1,213 minutes. If this is a data entry error, please edit the procedure record and save the data. Then, generate new data sets before running any analysis reports to reflect the inclusion of the procedures in the SIR. If it is not a data entry error, procedures will still be excluded from the SIR. It is important to mention that even though a procedure is excluded from the SIR, it should still be reported to NHSN. Procedures with closure technique of other than primary will be excluded from all SSI SIRs. To investigate this exclusion in the NHSN application, run a procedure line list in the advanced folder under Analysis to review procedure-specific details. A link to a quick reference guide on how to run a procedure line is located on the Resources page. Here are a few additional resources on SSI exclusion criteria for SIR calculation. For more information, visit cdc.gov NHSN. You can email questions to nhsn at cdc.gov.